Hey guys, what's up? Today we are running 20 miles. My marathon is in just a couple weeks, so this is like the big peak week. My biggest long run of the training block. 20 miles should take me just over three hours is what I'm gonna go for. It's absolutely beautiful today, like unusually warm for this time of year. It's only mid-April, so we woke up nice and early. We're gonna get out there and just try to have fun with it. That's my goal. Not going for a pace, not going for, not going for anything except to have fun and pretend like I'm on a little adventure. In terms of gear I'm bringing with me, I'm gonna have three goos. I'm gonna try to take one every like six-ish miles or about every hour maybe. I'm also gonna wear this running belt just to hold everything. Body glide, obviously, deodorant, chicken legs, running shorts, the best freaking running shorts ever. I'm so excited. I just, just got this new pair, so I'm gonna bring them out for the 20 miles. And Lululemon sports bra, pretty basic, but never done me wrong. Also gonna be wearing a junk brand headband and some Bombas running socks. So before I head out on this run, I made myself a little cup of coffee. Nothing too crazy, but just to get a little caffeine in me. I'm also going to make a little cup of BPN electrolytes. If you guys wanna check out any of BPN's products and support me at the same time, uh, use my link in the bio for some sick supplements, some crazy apparel. It's just a great community to be a part of, so definitely check out BPN. But to kind of start the whole hydration thing, gonna drink a cup of this. And I've been trying to decide what to have for breakfast, but I think I'm just gonna go tried and true cereal. I know you're not supposed to try anything new during these long runs, and this is kind of like a trial run for race day, but I honestly kind of switch it up every time, so I think I'm just gonna go with cereal for now. Also gonna have handheld water bottle with me. I'm probably gonna put a stick of liquid IV in there and then bring some extra BPN electrolytes. I think that's my plan because I'm gonna stop along the way on this run. I have a few little points picked out where I know I can grab some water at like a cafe or something. I'm not super worried about like making myself run this whole thing. I want it to be enjoyable and I don't wanna get dehydrated because I know I'm gonna sweat a lot. So gonna bring some extra electrolyte powder to throw in there when I get more water. At least that's the plan for now. That's what I'm gonna take with me in my running belt. So when I stop for water, I'm just gonna pour this in here. I think we're just about ready. Just past 8 a.m. That's exactly when I wanted to head out. So just need to put the rest of my sunscreen on, get the headband on, get the shoes. I'm gonna be wearing the Saucony Endorphin Speed 2s. I think we're ready to go. Just about six miles down. Tried to stop at like a rest stop for some water and water fountains are turned off. <sighs> we keep chugging on. Never a dull moment. So it's a lot hotter than I thought it would be out here. I knew it was gonna be hot, but my goal was to be ending the run right when it was hitting like 80 degrees out. And we're having this strange heat wave going on right now. Like this is not normal. It's not even really mid April yet. So I'm not accustomed to running in this weather. And I sweat a lot and I need to dial in my hydration for that and I just haven't had the chance. So I'm currently about 16.3 miles in. The good news is I'm walking on to URI's campus right now because I've been running the bike path that connects with the campus. And so I'm gonna jump into the gym on campus and finish off the last three and a half miles on the treadmill. So I'm really committed to finishing the 20 miles, but I just don't think it's healthy for me right now. Like you can see my lips, like my face is pale, but red, like I'm very dehydrated. So I think that's the best course of action. So I'm walking on over to the gym right now. I'll see you guys when we finish the 20. We're back. We freaking did it. Kind of weird, but we did it. 20 miles, I'm counting it. Yes, the last three and a half were on the treadmill, but they still count. I ran for over three hours, and then my dad was the rescue man. He came and picked me up from the campus gym. So now uh, I'm gonna go take a shower, get something to eat, do all the rest and recovery things. I think that's all I had to say. I'll see you when I'm looking a little cleaner. 
Now I'm finally making myself some lunch. It is currently just about 2 p.m. Making myself some lunch and I'm gonna sit and probably use the massage gun, stretch out as much as I can, legs up the wall, do the whole rest and recovery thing. And then I think I have a pretty chill rest of the afternoon planned. This run taught me a lot, showed me a lot. I am super proud of myself for finishing the full 20 miles in what I believe was the safest way. Of course, there was a part of my brain that was like, just finish it outside. Like you're almost had four miles left, three and a half miles left. Like I can do it, but it, it was so hot. And you could see from that clip, I was sweating. I was, it was just not fun. And at the end of the day, it was like, what am I proving to myself at this point? So. I'm proud of myself for realizing that it was not healthy for me to keep running. I would have needed way more water and there just wasn't enough stops along my route to go pick up more water. So URI came in handy yet again with the gym facilities. The treadmill, I like couldn't even feel my legs. <laughs> I ended up going like just over 30 minutes on the treadmill and it was, I couldn't feel my legs, but the surface of the treadmill was actually like a lot more squishy than the road, than the pavement. So that was kind of nice, I guess. Anyway, that's the story from the run. I know I didn't film a lot, but it's just three hours of very monotonous bike path. And I don't know, not that interesting, but I'll pop up on screen the metrics if you guys are interested. Again, this was just going to get time on my feet and to have fun with it. I was not going for a certain pace. 20 miles done, that's the longest long run I have to do during this training block. And now we taper until race day, which is May 7th. So I'm gonna eat some lunch and then get the massage gun going. It's time to relax. Keeping it super simple right now, just have an open-faced turkey and cheese and chicken and cheese with some pickles and mustard. I'm not super hungry, but I'm hoping this will kick my appetite up a little bit. I don't know. I'm ready for a nap. I swear massage guns are like the best invention of all time. I just got mine. I actually was sent uh, this massage gun by Bob and Brad. They run a pretty decently sized Instagram account and my dad actually knew about them, which is really cool. So they reached out to me uh, asking if I wanted to test out their new massage gun. And of course I was like, yes, because I don't own a Theragun or anything, but I've seen a lot of people do and they really like it. So I was like, hey, maybe I'll try out this other massage gun, see how it is. I got it a couple weeks ago. So right, right as I'm peaking in my training block and it's been fantastic. I use it pretty much every day. This video isn't sponsored by them and they're not paying me to say anything, but I, I need to say something because they, they just sent me this massage gun. So I highly recommend it's cheaper than the Theragun and it comes with a bunch of different like attachments. Honestly, it works great. Like no complaints here if you guys are training for your own races or you're into weightlifting any sort of hybrid athlete training anything you will benefit from having a massage gun so i'm gonna leave a link in the description again this is not sponsored by them or anything but i want to let you guys know when i really enjoy a product and when i think that it could help you guys out as well link to this in the description if you guys want to check it out so now that my muscles don't feel like they're dying, I feel like I can move on with my day. Don't really know what I have planned. I have a little bit of schoolwork to get done, but like, ugh, that's one thing after my long runs, I don't wanna do any schoolwork. And it's also Friday. Like, I don't have any classes on Friday, which is why I do my long runs on Fridays. So I know I have two more days. Like I have the full weekend to get stuff done. And I don't know, I'm just not motivated. I, I put out a lot of effort this morning. I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do schoolwork. I need to document this moment. I'm sitting there eating my snack and I got Wordle in two. That's the first time that's ever happened. Let's go.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those normal YouTube things because it seriously helps me out. I hope you're staying happy, staying healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.